You need to get used to having a bit of a bend in your elbows once you're in that catch position because then you'll be shallower than what a lot of swimmers are when they've got that straight arm catch and you'll be able to have that more open underarm with a bent elbow. If you're a swimmer or triathlete who's struggled to achieve a high elbow catch in the past and you've found that position uncomfortable, in this video, I'm gonna cover five things that can help you get that position consistently, do it without putting unnecessary pain or stress on your shoulders so that you can swim faster and more efficiently. So let's take a look. Five years ago, I partnered with Mark Evans from Sports Engineering Group, and we set out to develop a paddle that would guide your arm through a high elbow catch. And that comes from slight internal rotation of your arm as you are going through the movement of the catch, because that's what allows you to get a high elbow catch position. And I'm excited to say that we are finally ready to bring this paddle to life. We found a manufacturer in the United States, and for the next 30 days, we are running a Kickstarter campaign to bring this paddle to life, and we need your help to do it. This paddle has been designed meticulously down to the very last groove and contour, and it's designed in a way that as your arm is moving through the water forwards, the grooves and the contours of the paddle help initiate that internal rotation of the arm so that you can get a high elbow catch position. It's kind of like driver assist for your arm through the movement of the catch. If you'd like to join us in bringing this thing to life, click the link below. I'll put a link to our Kickstarter there. It's only running for the next 30 days and we need your help to bring this into reality. Now, the first thing with the high elbow catch is you do need some internal rotation of your arm. Now, quite often that gets misinterpreted as internal rotation by doing this, where your shoulder comes forwards here. That is what is gonna cause a lot of pain and it's gonna be very uncomfortable and it's not gonna be a strong position. So when I think about internal rotation of the arm, I think about having my arm in front and really my elbow is doing most of the work there where it's coming out to the side and the inside of my elbow is going to be pointing somewhat down through that movement. And that means the elbow is pointing off to the side. So we don't want internal rotation to come from lifting the shoulder and rolling it forwards because then these muscles around the back, your traps and your rhomboids are not gonna be supporting that shoulder blade. So it's very uncomfortable and it's not strong. So don't try and roll the shoulder forwards too much. Allow the shoulder to move a bit, but it's more coming from internal rotation of the arm here. And a good way to practice that can just be putting your hand on a desk and trying to get your arm to just have that slight internal rotation. And you go back and forth and back and forth just to get used to that sort of movement. The second thing is use your whole arm. Now this is your big paddle, your hand and your forearm, that's your big paddle. That is where most of the surface area is going to come from. But in a really good catch position, you'll also have your upper arm. So you wanna use this whole thing here to be able to shift yourself forwards. So while we do focus a lot on the hand and forearm, think about being open through the underarms. So you've got all this space under here and you're using the whole arm to be able to shift yourself forwards not just the hand and forearm. Because sometimes I'll see swimmers thinking just about this, and so they're still keeping themselves closed through the underarm, but if you can keep yourself open through here, then you're going to have a lot more surface area to work with. Number three is the catch is not the power phase, it is the setup phase. So too often we see people, when they go to swim fast, they try and muscle their catch. Now, as you do increase your speed, you will put a bit more pressure on through the catch, but we'd never want to muscle it because this overhead movement is not very strong, especially compared to this movement. So if you can use your catch more as a setup phase and your main concern, your main thought is just to get a good position, still putting a bit of pressure on, but not too much, then you can start to build through the rest of the stroke. The fourth thing is when you're in a good catch, your elbow will be somewhat bent and the point of your elbow is gonna be pointing off to the side of the pool and your fingers will be pointing down. So too often we see swimmers with a straight arm catch. So their elbow's pointing to the bottom of the pool and their fingers are pointing down. So their arm is completely straight. You need to get used to having a bit of a bend in your elbows once you're in that catch position because then you'll be shallower than what a lot of swimmers are when they've got that straight arm catch and you'll be able 
to have that more open underarm with a bent elbow. But if your arms are straight, then it's very hard to get that catch. So we have to get used to bending the elbows a little bit. Now, the fifth thing is a really good way to just practice this sort of movement and setup is a simple drill like a setup drill where you can kick with both arms out in front and you just move one hand down to a catch. Remember that internal rotation, bending the elbow a little bit there, and then you bring it back up. So just going through that really slowly, you can wear a snorkel if you choose to. I'd suggest putting fins on for this and just going through a simple setup drill to practice that movement. Because if you can't do this when you're going slowly, it's unlikely you're gonna be able to do this when you're going fast and doing the full stroke. So just practice that one element, just the catch, in a really slow way with snorkel fins on if you choose to. And that can help you just get used to that sort of movement that we're going for. Now you don't have to go extreme either. Don't feel like you have to go to a 90 degree catch because for most people that is unsustainable and unattainable. A lot of swimmers and triathletes I work with are very tight through the shoulders and it's just not achievable. If you'd like to purchase a pair of the M25 lift paddles that we've now got on Kickstarter, I'll put the link below. Love for you to join us because I really want to make these paddles a reality because I believe that they will help swimmers through the catch, which is really one of the most important parts of your stroke. So I'll put the link below. Thanks for watching. See you next week.